video is a beginner's guide, a 101, and all you need to know about the law of attraction technique, sometimes known as scripting, future journaling, manifestation journaling, basically writing stuff down and then it coming true in your life. That just got to me for a second because I haven't read this letter in a while. Hello my lovelies, welcome back to another video or if you're brand new, hi, welcome. My name's Lucy and on my channel I share all kinds of tips about spirituality, personal development and how to become the best version of you. Firstly, I'm interested to know where are you guys tuned in from. It's so beautiful to see our amazing community growing. I'm so grateful that so many of you have decided to subscribe and join us on this journey so that we can all keep each other accountable, help each other to raise our vibrations and stay as positive as possible. And I always love hearing your questions and your video requests so that I can give you guys more and more and more value on the topics of manifestation and the law of attraction in particular. Before I dive into this video, thank you so much everyone who messages me. As I think I've mentioned before, I now am getting hundreds of messages every single day, which is beautiful. I'm so grateful, but it also means that I'm kind of struggling to message most of you back at the moment. So I've teamed up with a company called Wizio, and basically you can go to my Wizio link if you have a really important question that you want to ask me uh, that I don't answer in this video, then you can ask it there and I will definitely see it and I will create for you a video. It's usually five to 10 minutes that's actually designed to answer your specific question and you will have exclusive access to that video. Um, so this is something that's, you know, really tailor-made to you rather than the sort of generic YouTube videos that I'm creating. So, so it's a brand new service. If you use the code, there's a code. So to celebrate this being a brand new thing for us, Wizio are giving you all 10% off if you use this code and you click the link that is in the description below. So without further ado, let's dive into what scripting is and my top tips on how to actually make it work for you. So how many of you comment below? How many of you have ever tried scripting before? Um, I do get some comments from people quite often saying that they've written these things down in the past and it never really felt like it was working. But then after watching one of my videos where I really go into more depth about how you should be feeling, because remember with the law of attraction, feeling is the secret, how you should be feeling, which then, you know, changes everything for people and helps them to finally start seeing those manifestation results. So yeah, comment below. Have you ever tried scripting before? Have you watched any of my scripting videos before? Have you had any manifestation success already from your scripting letters? So the reason why I love scripting so much is because November 2019, so almost a year ago, I started with writing, I wrote one, two, three, four, five mini paragraphs and each one of those five paragraphs is, was something that I wanted to manifest into my life. And now in 2020, I can say that every single one of these things came true. Then I wrote another one and one, two, three, four, five things on this letter has come true and I am on my way to the sick thing coming true, yay. Um, and so I've written another letter and that's on its way. That has come true. 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 That has, oh, that's almost there. And that's pretty much a, a, a done deal. You guys get the idea. This is a technique that now works for me pretty much without fail with anything that I write down, it eventually, and often quite quickly comes true. So I feel like I can, you know, I can talk about this topic because I have quite a lot of success with this technique. So the first thing to cover is that all law of attraction techniques are tools to help you to conjure up like magic, to conjure up the right emotional feeling, energetic state within you and around you by extension, okay? That is the primary purpose, function of any law of attraction technique. So scripting is a way 
that many people find is great for them because as they are writing their letters in the present tense, thanking the universe for all of this stuff that they want as if they've already got it, it is helping them to get into an emotional, feeling, energetic state as if it's already happened because with the law of attraction, we're constantly attracting things into our life and those things that we attract are on the same vibrational frequency as us. Have I got any tea left? Yes, I have. Cold tea. New York, Paris, Milan, Croydon. That's where I'm putting my emphasis in today's video. And if those of you maybe who are brand new to scripting or who've tried scripting and didn't get any success from it, you know, I w if, if I can equip you all with the awareness where you know that it's a priority with this process to be focused on using this technique to conjure up the right vibrational frequency within you, then you're going to be onto a winner. So the way that I like to write my scripting letters are one of two ways. Okay, there's two ways. And, you, and again, I'm going to give you these two options because whichever one you feel like would work best for you, whichever one you feel excited about doing the most, do that one. Because like I said, it's all about how you feel. If I tell you to do something and you're like, that sounds boring, that sounds like a chore, then don't do it. It's probably not going to work for you because it's not conjuring up that feeling of high vibes and excitement and gratitude and all of that good stuff that is at, you know, the top of the spectrum of vibrational frequencies, okay? If you are at a very low point in this vibrational scale the majority of the time, then you're going to attract more things like that. By extension, you could be going through the motions of writing your scripting letter, but if you're just feeling, you know, sad, hateful, jealous, fearful, and all of those kind of emotions while you're writing the letter, then it doesn't matter how many letters you write, they're probably not going to manifest some amazing, good, happy, beautiful um, experiences into your life because it's not the letter, it's you. Does that make sense? So make sure that while you're writing your letter and throughout the rest of your day, ideally, that you are vibing up here in the high vibrational frequencies because I, I'm assuming here that the things that you want, you want them because of how they're going to make you feel, right? That's the reason why we want anything in our lives because we believe that we will be happier in the obtaining of it. You know, you looking different or you wearing that design a fabulous outfit or you with the love of your life or you with a baby in your arms or or you you know traveling the world whatever it is that you want to manifest it's because you believe that you will be happier in the acquiring of it you will be at a higher vibration in the in the having of that thing so the trick with the law of attraction is to feel that great now and sometimes if it can be a little bit tricky to feel that great now because of your current reality keeps on distracting you and keeps on bringing you down, then techniques like the scripting letter can help you to immerse yourself in, you know, feelings that are connected to where you want to go rather than immersing yourself in feelings that are connected to where you are right now, okay? But in general, like, if you can just take my advice and practice feeling as good as you possibly can and as grateful as you possibly can in every moment of the day that you possibly can, then you're going to be a happy human being and happy human beings attract more happy things into their life and you're just going to have a beautiful happy life filled with even more things to be grateful for so going back to the two different ways that i write the letters one is in the form of a thank you letter so i address the letter at the beginning as if i'm writing to someone or some greater being whatever resonates best with you so i'm into abraham and esther hicks i love listening to abraham hicks and I actually originally got this um, technique from Abraham and Esther Hicks's videos, which I'll link in the description below. So for me, I really feel a connection when I write this letter to Abraham and Esther. It doesn't really matter who you write it to. It's who, it matters to you. It's not like you have to do it my way. I'm saying if you connect so much to a particular angel or to a particular God or to a particular religion or you know, you could even, some, I know some of you even write your letters to me, which is really lovely. You know, I'm very honoured. Whoever you feel like you would 
really be able to get into that letter like thanking them because you want them to know how much your life has changed and how beautiful you feel like you choose who you want to address the letter to then I looked at what I wanted you know and you can really you can ask for absolutely anything okay no one has to see the letter except for you so that allows you to really you know ask for what you want be grateful for what you want to appear into your life without judgment, without what other people say you should want, okay? What do you want? What do you want? So I wrote here, um, well, in this first letter, I said, thank you so much, Abraham and Esther. I now have more money in my bank account than ever before. It's so nice to have this abundance and freedom. I love thinking about what to buy next. Ooh, that just got to me for a second because I haven't read this letter in a while. Ooh, goosebumps. When I read this, when I wrote this letter almost a year ago, I was really struggling financially. And now I'm freaking abundant and it's awesome. <laughs> oh, that is really, really beautiful to look back and read. Guys, you're going to love reading your letters when it all comes true love it now like when you write it and read it back to yourself borrow this feeling that I've got right now if it can happen for me it can happen for you right so feel that genuine gratitude that you're going to feel when it happens and feel it now even before it's happened the next thing I wrote was everything I post on all social media is going viral to an incredible supportive audience, positive audience of people. You are the incredible supportive, positive audience of people. Thank you for being part of my manifestation. You, thank you. I'm attracting people into my life who are open-minded, disciplined, fearless, entrepreneurial, positive, fun, committed, and who want to build my businesses with me. And I have been receiving such a beautiful, steady flow of new people into my life who are exactly those things. If you happen to be those things, by the way, <laughs> feel free to get in touch if you want to build business with me. I'll send you more information. Uh, next, I'm doing so many fun things with the people I love and the people I love are all in perfect, miraculous health. When I wrote this letter, there was no pandemic and I didn't even know how important that was consciously. Um, and I'm so, so grateful. <laughs> and the final thing I wrote on this letter, some of you guys have already heard this. My boobs have grown to a size 32C and I love their new size and perfect shape. My abs are more defined than ever and I haven't had to do any more exercise than a normal amount that makes me feel good and uh, my boobs have officially grown a cup size. I've actually got a few videos specifically on that manifestation if you guys wanna check them out. Um, not my boobs out. I did not mean if you guys wanna check them out. I meant if you wanna check the videos out. Moving on. That's That's been a journey. I still have my days when I don't feel so confident in my body, but it's a journey and I'm feeling lighter and lighter every day. Uh, in terms of energetically lighter. <laughs> I'm just going to stop talking about that now. And then I signed off the letter with thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so some of you have heard that letter before. It was really beautiful to take this moment to share it again with you all when I've kind of, I haven't really looked at this letter for months. And just to see how even more of it has unfolded like I ticked everything off within a six month period and it's actually then continued to expand to levels beyond what I was looking for when I wrote this letter. So these letters are extremely powerful. So now there's a final thing that I want to share with you about this technique. Um, and that is that what I did after writing this letter with feeling and with gratitude, I then proceeded to look at this letter every single morning before I start my day and every single evening just as I get into bed. So I keep the letter just by the side of my bed, okay? Um, and I know sometimes, I know I've had some questions in the past where people are like, do you have to say it out loud? Can you say it in your head? It, it doesn't matter because what matters is you conjuring up that feeling. 
So whether you're saying the words out loud or saying the words in your head, what matters is as you go about and read your letter again, are you reigniting those feelings? Are you rising your vibration up yet again and yet again and yet again and yet again to the frequency of these things so that you're kind of becoming much more consistent at being up there at the same vibe of these things and that's how then your reality starts to bend and has to match where you're at vibrationally. You know, if you're going to read it out loud and you're embarrassed and you're feeling shy and you're worried if your family or partner is going to hear you, then you're, you know, you're not going to be in the right feeling state, are you? So just make that executive decision for yourself. I usually just whisper it to myself. Um, so, yeah, so I did that for 30 days with that letter and then I just forgot about it and there was no real special technique. I just genuinely did kind of lose interest in writing the letter, in reading the letter and forgot about it. And it wasn't until I discovered that I'd grown a cup size that I was like, didn't I write that down somewhere a few months ago? And so I rooted through my drawer and found it. It had fallen, no, it was like, fell off my bedside table, it was under some random stuff, and I found it, and I realised, holy cow, I actually wrote 32C, and my new cup size is 32C, so then I was like, let's read everything else, oh my god, and this has happened, and this has happened, and this has happened, so that was kind of how I accidentally discovered that the scripting thing worked, so I had no expectations of it really, um, it was just like a thing I was going to try, and I feel like another reason why it worked so much for me is so that I can be in a position to share this on with so many of you now to empower you and give you that bulletproof proof and belief that this stuff can work if you use it to conjure the right feelings. I did say, didn't I, that there was a second kind of letter that you, a second kind of, um, yeah, letter that you can write. This is more like what do they call it? Future journaling. Okay. So what I also sometimes like to do, you know, in addition to reading this letter to myself repeatedly for 30 days to really kind of repeatedly focus on the same stuff is that I'll also get my journal out and just like almost chat to myself through the pen onto the paper, you know, and just whatever I feel the pull to imagine and focus on, that's what I write about. So, you know, maybe one day I feel particularly excited about, um, you know, having more money in my bank account. So I'll write a whole page about how grateful I am now that I have, you know, an extra £10,000 coming into my bank account every month. And that, you know, every day all of these new opportunities are just coming my way. And every time I check my phone, there's a new notification that there's more money in my account. You know, if I'm feeling really like vibed up and excited about going into that feeling on a deeper level and like allowing it to really, you know, completely saturate my energy, then writing about it and elaborating on that feeling on a piece of paper is really, really powerful to take it just from like a little idle thought to, you know, a fully all consuming vibration. Um, and then on another day, maybe I have, you know, maybe I'm daydreaming about, um, you know, my future children and my future home. And so then I'll write a whole page about a random day in my life in the future where, you know, I'm walking through my beautiful home and describing, you know, the sort of journey maybe from my bedroom down to the kitchen and, you know, then my, my children you know, run up to me and, and, and say good morning and, and cuddle my legs and I pick them up and I give them a kiss on their soft cheeks, you know, and it allows you again to get so um, detailed and into that reality rather than it just being like, oh yeah, that's what I want one day. You know, it can be quite like two-dimensional or basic or just like almost like you're just looking at a picture Whereas when you are writing about it, it is um, requiring your mind to go into the reality on a much deeper level, um, making it a lot more real. 
uh, and adding a lot more energy to that reality and helping you again also to feel so much more connected to that situation or to that future event. So that is the second type of scripting that I haven't talked about as much. I normally talk about these thank you letters because they all come true. Um, but, you know, that journaling process, that future journaling, manifestation journaling is also a really nice activity, which, you know, you could even do it before reading your letter. Like, let's say if you're like, oh, I'm feeling really crappy and pooey today. I'm at this low vibe and I want to get to a higher vibe. Then, you know, you could take a moment to to journal in that future way. Oh, by the way, all of this journaling you write in the present tense. And then, yeah, it just brings you up to feeling really, really great. You used your imagination. Your energy is just going wild. Um, you know, you're in that reality rather than maybe bogged down in what depressing thing you've just seen on the news. Like... I stay clear of a lot of that kind of energy, if you ask me. Um, you know, I'd rather live with my, you know, feet on the ground, but head in the clouds. <laughs> rather than, like, my head in the ground, just with all the shit. <laughs> Go for it. Don't hold yourself back. Trust yourself and it. don't overcomplicate it. Don't worry about it. There's very few rules to this. Whatever technique gets you into that right feeling is the right technique for you. Give this your best shot. If you feel like, oh, I just have a really crappy relationship with writing and I just feel totally uninspired, then maybe this isn't the technique for you and maybe have a go at vision boarding or, you know, a very um, powerful visualization meditation. I think I have a couple on this channel that I can tag here. It's all about exploring the different law of attraction techniques and finding which one really, really works best for you. It took me about a year and a half of trying out different techniques and, and growing myself on my spiritual journey simultaneously so that I could get better and better and better at getting into that high vibrational state. And when you pair those two things up together, then you can really become a badass manifester. I think I'm going to do a whole separate video on pairing those two things up and like how to properly do it. If you guys would like me to do that video, comment below and I will. So give it a big thumbs up before you go. I'm not wearing any of my rings today. Did any of you guys notice? Um, make sure that you hit my subscribe button and ring my bell so that you never miss a video. Until next time. See you guys soon. Bye.